Thomas and Scarlowy's big day out. It was a beautiful bright summer on the island of Sodor. Thomas the tank engine was taking passengers to the seaside. In the summer holidays, Thomas went there nearly every day. One morning, the fat controller came to see Thomas. I have an important special for you, he said. I need you to take some steel pipes to the wharf. Thomas was delighted. There were lots of sights to see on the way to the wharf. First, Thomas passed the Scottish castle. Next, he went through Shen Valley. And finally, he looked at the wonderful view from the top of Gordon's Hill. But when Thomas arrived at the wharf, he saw Scar Lowy. Scar Lowy looked very sad. He had broken down. There's no one to take me to the mender's yard, Scar Lowy chuffed. Maybe I can take you, puffed Thomas. Please, sir, Thomas asked the thin controller, can I take Scar Lowy to the menders? Scar Lowy is very heavy, said the thin controller. I'm sure I can pull him, puffed Thomas, and I've finished all my other jobs. Very well, said the thin controller, but you must go straight there. Yes, sir, whistled Thomas. The coupling on the flatbed is old, so take care. He added. So Scar Lowy was loaded onto the flatbed. Scar Lowy was sad. I don't like going to the menders, he puffed. Thomas wanted to cheer Scar Lowy up. I'll show you some wonderful new sights, sights you never see in the mountains, chuffed Thomas cheerfully. This will be your big day out. And Thomas puffed away, pulling his friend carefully behind him. So Thomas didn't take Scar Lowy straight to the menders. He puffed through the farms and forests. until they arrived at the Scottish castle. There, puffed Thomas proudly. Isn't it wonderful? It's very nice, chuffed Scar Lowy. But we have a castle in the mountains. Then I'll show you Shen Valley, puffed Thomas. Thomas and Scar Lowy puffed through the flowery fields and the green meadows of Shen Valley. There, whistled Thomas grandly. It's very nice, chuffed Scar Lowy, but we have green valleys in the mountains. Thomas felt sad. He wanted Scar Lowy to have a big day out. He had to find something that Scar Lowy had never seen before. I know, puffed Thomas. I'll show you the view from the top of Gordon's Hill. So Thomas huffed and puffed up Gordon's Hill. Scar Lowy was very heavy. The old flatbed coupling creaked and groaned. But still Thomas huffed and chuffed as hard as he could. Then there was trouble. Just as he got to the top of the hill, the coupling came loose and Scar Lowy rolled backwards. Help! cried Scar Lowy. But it was too late. Scar Lowy's flatbed biffed into the sidings and came off the track. Oh no, moaned Thomas. 
The thin controller told me to go straight to the mender's yard, but I wanted to give you a big day out. Now look what's happened. Thomas was very unhappy. So Thomas's driver coupled him up again to the flatbed. Thomas pulled Scarlowy and the flatbed carefully back onto the tracks, and they set off for the mender's yard. Thomas didn't try to show Scarlowy any more sights. He puffed as fast as he could to do his job. The fastest way to the mender's yard was the track by the seaside. Thomas had to stop at a signal. Scar Lowy looked out at the sea and the sand. There were sand castles, donkey rides and children eating ice cream. It looked marvellous. It's wonderful, gasped Scar Lowy. I've never seen anything like that before. Scar Lowy was so excited it made his axles tingle. Thomas was surprised and delighted. I see the beach almost every day, he tooted happily. Thomas took Scar Lowy to the members. I'll wait and take you back, tooted Thomas. Thank you, wished Scar Lowy. When he was mended, Thomas took Scar Lowy to look at the beach once again. This is the best big day out ever, puffed Scar Lowy. Thomas was delighted. Tabini de yo to hoi to koro e. Sekai ju o meguro o. Sugo i boken ga matte ilu. Takusan no haken ga matte ilu. Let's go! Thomas tachi no. Let's be what's good.